the catalyzing moment in Long Beach was the hearing of the urban goats, chickens, and bees ordinance, which would re-allow people to keep these uh, farm animals in their backyards. It wasn't that if you know you had chickens in your backyard, the police showed up and confiscated them, but people are really wanting to feel the right to do things and they want it to be explicit. They don't want to make an investment in a backyard beehive and then ha the idea that it could be taken away. Uh, it stopped them from doing it or it made them feel like they had to do it in the, in the shame of night. So the big night at council, the chickens, bees, and goats ordinance is coming before them. And the food community is there to represent it and have a victory. And instead, the whole thing backfired. It showed us that the community was afraid of local food. Our city council didn't understand it. They didn't know where to set the marker. Is one goat enough? Should we not allow roosters? The, the discourse exploded in the room and, the, and it didn't even pass that night. So that's when we knew we had to come back together and regroup and educate people behind why this is important. We call what we do food democracy. And that's because we're getting people involved in the co-creation of the food system that adheres to the values they want to see in their community. People want to raise their own chickens off of the food that they feed those chickens so that they're getting that nutrition out of that egg. And when you can't do that, then you are a victim of whatever food system happens to exist because of market forces. And that's not what we want. We don't want you know, the animal treated unethically. We don't want the food uh, to not be nutritious and to be created far away and trucked in. And so this gives people control over their own nutrition and their own food sourcing and knowledge of where that comes from.